Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone.exe. I'm going to continue with my arena run. Uh, after editing the video and, and taking a look, uh, I'm pretty familiar with my deck from what I remember. So let's carry on and jump into another game. See if we can uh, get another win. Uh, predict that I'm going to struggle a little bit. So let's see what we've got. We've got a rogue. Against our <coughs> average mage deck. You asked for it. So, none of these cards are good in my opening hand, so I'll just toss them all back. Get some new ones. <coughs> so, we got 2 3. That's alright. Um, with the secret. As long as I don't draw a secret, that's going to be pretty good. Better 3 card drop there. We'll go with a mad scientist. I figure it's the best drop I've got there. The, the explosive sheep's not really going to help me here. He's just going to. He's just using the dagger on it. It's better used as like a sort of AOE spell for, for four mana. Okay, so I'll go with. <clears throat> I think I'll go with Harvest Golem here. I mean, I don't think there's any reason not to, to go with that. See what this mage is gonna do. Mage, uh, rogue, rather. X marks the spot. Good cell raider. <clears throat> it's a reasonable drop at that point. Something I could do here is enhance mechanical, actually. So taunt wouldn't really help, but divine shield would be good. Or even wind fury. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can hit extra with that. What's the alternative? What to the alternative do? is to fire blast and remove. So I think I'll give Hans a go. Let's see what we get. One wind fury here. So I think I might just go for the face. Yeah, let's just go for the face. We've got a wind fury behind a taunt that's got a secret. Death Rattle, so that's a pretty reasonable move. Is he coining out? For the Lich King. <clears throat> Spectral Knight, that's quite a strong card right now. So secret is that vaporize, okay. I don't really want to taunt anything because I'd quite like the Spectral Knight to go for face, but it mm. probably won't though. Could drop another Harvest Golem. Fire Blast. That's probably the best move, I think, here. Yeah. So we'll Fire Blast that. Drop another Harvest Golem. Let's go for the face. Well, we've got the Wind Fury. We're actually taking down quite a lot. At least with a Rogue, you know, it reduces the amount. So he's going to be able to use weapons, assuming that he doesn't have any heal. Well, I figured that is what he would do. We must cleanse the sun well. <laughs> Flame cannon, that's pretty good. So, let's see here. So if I don't want to remove that with that. No, I want to remove that with that. Make that. Use the flame cannon. Oh, except I can't use that. Damn. Uh, that was a bit of a mistake, but not really. Just clear with that. Um, there's not really much value in taunts or heal and in the face. Three. Well, we're in a decent position. He's got a lot of cards in hand, though. Um, hopefully he's going to play something big that the he wants to hit the face with. Oh, he's taking my secret. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not so bad. I can just send the two... Why is he hitting that? Oh, has he got... Blade Flare. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. In this situation... It 
wouldn't be so bad to have Matter Bomber duplicated, although I can't use that. Um, so let's do that. And then just fire blast his face. Take, skip a turn. If I got duplicate on Matter Bomber, that might be okay, just simply because I might potentially be able to kill him with all the with all the bombing. Well, of course, he's just going to dagger it. Yeah, should have thought of that, really. <clears throat> it's a bit stupid. Oh, we ninja. So, 3-4 damage. So, I think Mad Bomber Duplicate might be the best play here, you know? Because if I hit him a certain amount of time... Two health on that now. So if I duplicate now, this might actually work out in some strange way. This might actually work out because I can do a total of four damage on a single turn with Frostbolt and Fire Blast. So I only need two damage from two mana bombers. <clears throat> so this could actually work out. I mean, one. One, three, four. Yeah, so next turn, if I hit him for two damage, I could potentially win. Well, let's see. Come on, Matter Bomber, then. I'm going to move the Ogre Ninja. So, do I drop the other Bomber? Could remove the Yeti, but because of the vaporize, it's probably better what for me to save the frost bolt and the fire blast to finish him. Could fire blast and then drop the Sun Fury Protector. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm taking a risk with this, but depending on, I mean, unless he drops a hell of a lot of minions, there's a good chance that I'm going to hit him once with the Mana Bomber and then be able to finish him. And he's going to have to trade there if he wants to use that. Well, he can do that. <laughs> of course. Produce a com uh, Argent Commander. Very good. This right. To remove my minion. Well. <laughs> oh, actually. Wait, five. Should make that four and then one. Uh, three, nine. Um, I think I've won. Have I not? I believe I've won. Well, there you go. Two for zero. This deck's doing a surprisingly reasonable job <laughs> that I didn't expect it to do. Um, so let's jump straight into another game. I think I predicted four wins. I could potentially beat that. But you can easily lose three in a row, after all. Especially with me being 2-0, and oh, I'm only going to get a more difficult opposition in the next game. But we'll have to see. So we have a druid <clears throat> this time. I must protect the wild. You asked for it. So I definitely don't want Pyroblast or Explosive Sheep. Do I want to keep the Arcanist with the Mad Scientist? It might be a good combo potentially. I think I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully I can get a three drop. I did get a three drop and a one drop. One, two, three, four. It's not bad. I could even coin up to the ethereal if I actually get the secret out, which is pretty good. Um, obviously the gnome isn't great against... It's not great against a, 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 a hero that can deal one damage, but it'll slow him down if he chooses to, to do that. Which he's not done. But he is increasing his mana significantly. So let's go ahead and get the mad scientist out. Try and get our combo. Combo to work. Well, I'm okay with that. I'll be able to pull off the combo wombo. Combo wombo is going to get pulled out. And 
will sort of mess up my curve a little bit, but... <clears throat> oh no, it doesn't because I've got a fat water elemental now. So let's clear that. In fact, what have we got? we got Vaporize, that's fine. Get the Ethereal. Buffs to a lovely 5-5. Five five. In fact, the Vaporize might not get triggered yet, so it might buff some more. Unless he just removes the Arcanist anyway. We'll see. There's the power to the Shredder. And he actually hasn't cleared the uh, secret, so... I'm quite happy with that. It's probably not worth Frostbolting that, I don't think. Because then my... I play would be Sun Fury Protector, which... I don't really want to be playing right now. So I think I'll just go Water Elemental and hit the face. And it should buff to an 8, a 7, 7 rather. Which is not easy for him to take out now. <clears throat> Maybe he's got a Silence or something. I would have thought he was Silence, sorry. Instead he's chosen to freeze it. Which is an interesting play. He's going to get Vaporized, which is not too bad for him because he gets a minion anyway off the back of it. But it's something potentially quite useless. I mean, I've got a few choices here. I could polymorph the 5-5, five five, remove it with the War Elemental, <clears throat> or I could drop a Harvest Golem and taunt the Water Elemental and the Harvest Golem hmm. for the sake of keeping my Arcanist alive. But he's not going to buff anymore, so I don't know if that's really worthwhile. I could hit frost, hit Frostbolt Golem. I think that might be the best move. Well, that takes a lot of damage then. I think I'd like to keep the Polymorph. Um, yeah. Frostbolt. I suppose there's a number of different ways to play that, so I had a few options there. I'm not sure if that was the best. Sometimes when I get a few minute, few different options, I'm not sure which is... I can sometimes struggle to make the right choice, really. But I feel like Polymorph's probably worth keeping for something bigger in the future, potentially. But maybe he doesn't have anything bigger Snake. than that. Oh, he yeah, does. Well, then I'm glad I kept my, kept my Polymorph then. So I can Polymorph that, and then Fire Blast it out. Which is fine with me. Let's do that. Polymorph. I blast it. And then we'll remove that. Hit him for 10. And he's in trouble now. Um, he could potentially swipe this board, which would keep him alive. But I'd still have a 7 attack minion on the board. But we'll see what he can do. Just, he's just alive by one health unless. Well played. Yeah, so 9, 10. Really handsome kind of if I get a whirlwind on one of them. Which I did not. I'm just going to drop the Harvest Golem in, in the face. So let's see what he can do. Got to clear my board in its entirety, which is probably not very likely for him, especially when he's just dropped an ogre. Shields up. Oh no, he's taunting. Well, I'm pretty sure that's. I feel like that's probably still possible, so I can remove remove that. Um, yeah, th three and two, and then hit him in the face. Yeah. Three to yeah, that's right. Move that. Three and two. Well played. Win. So that's a third win. Third win. Three and oh. My thanks to you. So this deck's doing a lot better than I imagined it would. I've got a nice synergy there with the Ethereal Arcanist. Uh, I still feel like I should have gone with the Goblin Blast Mage when I had the option. 
because at that point it worked out. Hopefully it can work it out. I can make it work out like that again. I think when you get you can get the ethereal canist in that situation out early with a secret on turn four or turn turn three even it was. It can be strong. And um it's not often that that's gonna work out, you know, drawing the exact cards. I mean just having the ethereal arcanist in my hand or drawing it. It's not entirely likely. Jaina versus Gul'dan. A warlock. I seem to be facing every single type of class. You asked for it. <clears throat> so I don't want either of those. Uh, this is a better three drop than both of those at the start of the game. Didn't draw two, which is a problem. Without a two drop, it's going to be quite difficult, really. I suspect. Yeah, I got my my two drop there. Two, three, four. That's good. And a flame strike in hand. It's a good. It's a good hand. If I can draw five somewhere, it'd be better. Well, happy to make that trade. Play the golem. Duplicate. I'm perfectly happy getting two harvest golems. They're quite difficult to deal with. I mean, even in in the later game, obviously less significant, but generally, I'd I'd say they're quite strong. I think Frostbolt's probably best here. I don't want a one health minion that can that you know. I don't want two broken golems being duplicated because that's terrible. Two fairy dragons. That's okay. I think I'll probably take the risk that that's potentially what I might end up with. It's better than two damaged golems anyway. Um, it'd be better to get something else, but... I much prefer to get the golem, but the fairy dragon will be fine. I mean, he can't hit it with the spell, though. So potentially... If he's got hellfire, I guess I would get the golem. I'm not sure. For not a time. So here I'd suppose that the best move is probably to use the Stormwind Knight and the Fairy Dragon. Hmm. Which is doubly good in the sense that I mean it's you know it's not a great sort of trade. It's it's okay. But more importantly, I'll have two minions that I'm happy to get duplicated and this one will be gone. For the king. And the Stormwind Knight lives, obviously. Oh, so I'm pretty okay with that trade. Um, um, I'd be I'd be quite happy to get a Stormwind Knight or a Harvest Golem twice duplicated. Uh, get behind me. Mm. Well, that's a good draw. That helps me out a lot. When it comes to the, um, the duplicate, this might not be too bad to drop because chances are I'll make a taunt. There's a good chance that I'll get a taunt from one of them. It's like one in three or whatever. Or... Two and six, I think. What so I'd ro I wouldn't mind dropping that, but at the same time, I'd like to remove this without losing these two minions. So I'm gonna use the spells and the fire blast and just put on the face. It's slightly slow, but I'm kind of all right with that. I quite like to drop a number of very small minions now, so it works with the flame strike. I don't really want to enhance Mechanico or Soot Spewer duplicated. So it'd be nice if he could remove one of these minions now. The gates are open. Hmm. I feel like the best move here might be a Hans Mechanico. And just Fire Blast, possibly. What That's what I'm gonna go with. I've not got a lot of options. I definitely don't want to flame strike that, that'd be terrible. A waste it's of flame strike. I got two taunts for both of them, which is which is perfectly fine with me. I don't want to drop the Lepinome because if he has more coil, I'm gonna I don't want two Lepinomes, that'd be terrible, and I don't want any such spears, so I'm just gonna fire blast him in the face and end my turn. And he's forced to pick one to give me. And then I can finally stop caring about that duplicate. Which is why I don't really like duplicate as a spell. I think it's good to get two cards from nothing from one card. And if it's get if you get a good card, then yeah. 
that's okay. You know, a reasonable mana card. You know, at least a three mana card. But there's there's, there's the the aspect of not being able to play the cards you want to play. Well, not necessarily cards you want to play, but cards that are less good that you don't want duplicated. I think that gives me the harvest one, doesn't it? Indeed, it does. I'm kind of all right with that. Explosive Sheep is pretty good here. So that'd be two, four. I'd have four left, so I could go Harvest Golem, Leper Gnome. Or even Soot Spewer, Leper Gnome. I Make me mean that I'd have a stronger setup for a Flame Strike, but we're getting nearly to 10 mana anyway, so I could potentially do that within one turn. Yeah. So let's use this to clear those two. And then we'll drop Harvest Golem and Leper Gnome. Implosion. A bit of a. Ugh, what a nasty spell. Now, is that. Oh! Well, that's better. I was going to say, is that worthy of Flame Strike, but I think Blizzard here was, is much better. Yeah. Let's use the blizzard. So, I could just fire blast this down and I think that's... Well, should I develop my board more? I don't have a strong board, really. Two, four, six damage. Taking him down to 15. Two there. I think I will drop the harvest golem. The uh, Dark Iron Dwarf and hit him for two. Hopefully, he'll think that's my only AoE and drop a bunch of small minions now. Hopefully. And he's looking for answers. I'm not far off having him at 10 health, so if I draw my Pyro Blast, I could potentially finish him off. Oh, that's not good. He is. That's fine with me. He has actually dropped some quite low minions and one more, please. Now, Flame Strike that. No? Okay. Um, I could potentially win here, so I'm gonna f flame strike. Drop the soot spear. Oh, am I gonna drop? Some yeah, drop the soot spear. Two, two, two. Right. Well, he's nearly dead. Ah, oh, he's got hellfire. <laughs> Shouldn't have dropped the. Shouldn't have dropped the robot. Although, he did he just tap then? Oh, I just beat him. I don't know if he tapped then. Did he tap? He didn't tap, it was just the hellfire, I think. Well. Well played. I win again. That's what, is that three wins now? I believe. Three and oh. It shows how strong mage is that I'm able to win this many games. Oh, it's four wins actually now, to be exact. So I've achieved the, the four wins that I thought I would achieve um, a lot faster than I thought I would. So let's continue our, our run. See if we can add another win to the pile. Going 5 0 would be nice. If I go 5 0, I think I've got the potential to go 6 wins at least. I'd say 6 wins is about my average. Somewhere between 4 and, and 6 is probably my average win rate. Or my wins. Total wins average. So we'll see if we can achieve that. Rogue. Watch your back. You asked for it. I'll definitely chuck back the polymorph. I've got the coin. So I don't really need the soot sphere because I can coin up to the water elemental. So we'll do that. And hopefully I can get a two drop as well. Well I got another I got a three drop. Um I'm just lacking that two drop, but we'll have to see what he plays. Um, um, I might need to frost bolt it. I can 
Manor addict. Well... I don't really want to use a Frostbolt on the Manor Addict because it's such a terrible card. Um, I'm quite tempted to coin up to the Earthen Ring fast here. At best, that card could remove my Earthen Ring fast here if he plays a spell as well. I think that's the best play. <coughs> I can't use the heal ability, but I, I lose the heal ability, but that's not such a big deal. I'm not too worried about that. Hopefully he doesn't have a spell that he can play here. Probably will, like a backstab or something, but it's not really going to help him too much, I don't think. It's certainly not, it's certainly not going to help him for the trade, to achieve the trade, basic trade. Ah, okay. <laughs> that would be that would be the move that would do that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, let's go with the uh, Harvest Golem. Well, would that be the best play? He would have to use a power on his dagger and then that again. Well, let's go with that. It's going to take a few things to remove it anyway. So let's see. I'll be very unhappy to be outdone by the Mana Addict with, with it being such a terrible card. What he's doing. So I could potentially fire blast the one one and then frostbolt the four three, but then he ends up with a minion anyway. Those two combined attack can't remove my wallet water elemental, but if he uses a spell, potentially he could remove it. But I think that I think that the water elemental is the best play here. I've got a lot of spells in my hand now, though, which is not great. Really, at this point, I wish I'd used the frostbolt to remove the mana addict, but at the time, it just it just felt it felt like a waste. But it would have been the better play, probably. Sneaky, cash, quiet. <coughs> He's gone for face. So I could polymorph the piloted shredder, which is quite tempting. Alternatively, I could frostbolt it. The frostbolt does allow me to develop the board with a harvest golem. But I think at this stage, this worries me more. And then remove the mana addict. Hopefully the ogre's going to miss. <laughs> That's all I can say. If it does miss and hits me in the face, I could potentially play Vaporize on the next turn. Which would then mean that if it missed again, it would hit the... hit. It would be Vaporized. But that's obviously a bit of a risky strategy. It's a 50-50 at the end of the day. you <laughs> Well, I can frostbolt it. So I think best frostbolt the ogre for sure. Fire blast this and drop the fairy dragon because if he removes it with the the mage. It's within fight flame strike range. I was thinking about playing the explosive sheep, which would do the same damage, but potentially you could just hit it with the dagger, so it wouldn't achieve that same damage level. Well, that's got four health. That's not very helpful to hit me in the face. I don't know why I wanted to hit me in the face, but he did. Um, okay. Seems to me that the best move is probably to hit the egg, flame strike, 
It leaves him with the Archmage with 3 health. Which isn't great. He can't trade for the Fairy Dragon anyway, so I'm gonna do that. I do have another Flame Strike in the deck after all. I mean, he can't trade unless he heals with that. So chances are he's gonna hit me in the face with the Archmage. Preferably I can draw another, my next Flame Strike, that would be nice. If he's gonna drop a few minions now. Well, he's going for my face, so... Perhaps he's got some sort of killing blow to land on me. Three, I can go Harvest Golem, Lepanoma, Hanks Mechanico. And that's probably the move to do. I wonder. I think. Hopefully I can get Divine Shield on 3-2. And I did. Fantastic. That's pretty good. And I've got the crap minion with Taunt and a minion with Wind Fury. That's pretty good. I've not got a lot of steam left. I've not got a lot of cards left in my hand and they're not too... I mean, the, the explosive sheep is more of a response to him clearing my board. Not something I'd want to use now. Let's return the golem. I'm assuming he's got a vis right there in his hand, which is what he's debating on using. I'd assume he's got more than one eviscerate, and he wants to finish me with that. So I think for now, what to do? the best thing I can do is vaporize Ethereal, which buffs it. Fireblast in the face, we just hit him twice. And hope that he doesn't have enough to kill me in one turn. Because if he doesn't kill me, I think I've got him. 8, 11, 12. That would be buffed by two, so yeah, I'll have enough to kill him if he doesn't remove at least one of my minions. Specifically the ethereal, really. Don't mess with Tusker. Yeah, I thought he had an eviscerate in his hand. He might have another one as well, because it, it seemed to me that he's actually going to sap that back again. Well, at this point, I'd probably want to. I probably want to trade for the boar. Because at least then, if he goes for my face, he's going to be evaporated. I want to play the ethereal again, certainly. I wonder. Um, in fact, well, I can fire blast the boar, and then drop harvest golem ethereal. So harvest golem ethereal, fire blast the boar. And hit him in the face. Because I'm not too worried about his minions. He's either going to clear the 3 2 or he's going to hit me in the face. And either or is not too bad for me. Really. Well, it's not great for him to trade. Hopefully he goes for the face, but. Ah, he's got a Molten Giant. <laughs> I'm not really concerned about the Molten Giant. I mean, if he's, if he's going to trade, it's a problem, but... I do have... I do have eva uh, Vaporize, so... I don't have a big concern about... about that. So I suppose for this turn... Amani Berserker... Fire Blast the Amani Berserker... Duplicate. Because I'll be happy to get any of these cards. Well, not happy to get any of them, but it's the best I'm going to get out of any of these. <laughs> it's time for a little blow. So, fire blast that, duplicate, hopefully we'll get the Armory Berserker. And then my turn, and if he's going to hit me in the face, he's going to lose his Molten Giant. 
Hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> you just lost your game, potentially. I think I don't think he's gonna be able to get back from that. Unless unless he's got oh, an amazing hand. Well, yeah. well played indeed. Fifth win. Five and out.